So this is a 1938 40 foot Just like every other day, I was looking for weird Airbnbs. Up yonder, I stumbled across this 1930s yacht, completely out of the water and had a deck built around it, so I had to put it on the list. It's located in a small town called Port Townsend, which is only about an hour away from me. I didn't even realize this, but there's apparently a section where they show cool things near you. And after going down the short rabbit hole, I ran into Olympic Game Farm and Squim. Let's go check it out. Hey, big boy, you want some bread? Since there's a fence, we're not allowed to throw bread, but look at that big boy. Oh, what's going on? What's going on? <laughs> Do you, you wanna go say hi to the grizzly? And this is where they gave us like a whole rundown of like, try not to stop your vehicle, bison will. You want some bread? Mr. Elk? Nice one. Oh, there you go. All right, we, dude, they're literally in the middle of the road. Like, what do I do? Look at this. This is like Polar Express. No Christmas without the Polar Express. Buddy. Hey. Oh gosh. Massive tongue. Holy. Yeah, all right, all right. All right, I'm just gonna throw this. Whoever gets it. Ow. I, <laughs> that didn't go far. No, no, buddy, I don't have any. The train. Cool areas near me, number one, completed. At this point, I'm mainly worried about natural light for filming the Airbnb. So, we saddle up and start our one hour journey to the ancient yacht. All right, so we just arrived. Let's take a look inside. All right, first I wanna kinda take a look at the outside. Man, 1938. This is so crazy. Like, honestly, no, like the fact that this is even still standing like in this weather, we're in the PNW and it rains being around these trees. I mean, you already know that they have to get up there and blow that off and possibly pressure wash it. And it's so much work to keep these things in good condition. I mean, it's all wood, it's all wood. So this is where, this is where people would just chill back in the day. And it's so weird because normally like you'll see cushions, just all wood. I'd be surprised if I'm sure that's metal. <laughs> they had metal in the 1930s. I don't know if they if they put that in after or if that's like, well, you're just gonna have a wood stove on a yacht? I don't think so. Let's go up top. Okay, handle here. Whoa. I'm actually in the market for a yacht. Obviously something a little newer, but like somewhere around 40 feet I think is good. So it's kind of cool to see how big this bow is. I mean, put out some lounge chairs, some cushions, and it's pretty big. Oh, that must be the bathroom vent. And then there's the shower over there. What's in here? I'm low key nervous to check out the inside, but here we go. It's so low to the ground. It's like a two foot drop right here. Whoa, it's a nice counter space, a sink. Yeah, those, these 40 foot yachts, they're like livable. How do you turn this on? Oh, whoa, that's cool. Cabinet space, spices, cool. Pots and pans, oh, okay, it's a stove. I was kind of wondering what it would be. At first I was thinking like a coal thing to run the boat, I don't know. 1938, yeah, you'd be in your 80s. So if there's anyone that knows anything about these boats, I'm wondering if, the, I, I know the top, I know that that's not original, but this stove here, I kind of wonder if it's original. I don't know. It's pretty old looking like a black iron, especially at the top. But yeah, let me know in the comments. Cool. Nice little area to sit down on. Okay, I cannot like even explain how this smell is. Imagine like a 1940s basement. Like that is the smell of this boat right now. It smells so old, crazy. So we're just on the back end of this. And it is, ab I mean, look at the roofing. I'm gonna feel that. Oh, it's it's like a, it's, it's canvas. I think this is maybe aftermarket, I don't know. Y'all gotta help me out. These people that are like, they're older and drove these boats around, let me know. Comment down below. I believe they call this the salon in the boat. I think this is stock. This is in the interior is literally in such good condition. 
Got your CB radio. I don't know if they had these back in the... I mean, you can always upgrade your radio system. That's not a big deal. Holy crap, look at that compass. That thing is huge. So we got our volts, our hours, all our gauges here, RPMs. Oh, we got an empty tank. And then all your lights and I'm gonna stop pretending like I know what it is. It's so crazy to me, like how, cause I've been looking at like other 40 foot yachts recently and around that smarter as humans we become in like the way that we lay out things for like optimal usage of space like like with tiny homes these days and rvs and anything like that and so it's crazy how like for a 40 foot yacht there's not a whole lot in here i mean it's super cute but like it's so crazy how we've advanced over time i mean 1938 i mean we're you know 15 years away from it being like 100 years you know 100 years old so so i guess i'll be sleeping right here and Dio will sleep right here. Then we got a cute little bathroom up front, a sink. Now it's time to explore the city. I talked with the host and they said to try out Fort Warden. So we started our journey. There was so much history and an absolutely beautiful view. Old buildings, anchors, a lighthouse, and even an otter, maybe. I only saw the tail. As the sun started to set and my tummy was rumbling, I went downtown on the water and got some food. We're just walking downtown now. Just about everything's closed. Um, just looking for a place to eat. All right, listen, don't judge my food choices, okay? So we started with, you can probably see right there, McDonald's. I just got a spicy chicken sandwich. McDonald's had two star review, so we're gonna open, I should have probably opened it up before I left, but that's commercial worthy right there. Something right here. That's it? This was $25, four pieces of sushi. Wait, no. Yeah, four, four pieces. I'm, I'm gonna watch a movie, I'm gonna eat some food, I'm gonna cuddle with my kitty, and just feel those good vibes, and I'll probably see you guys in the morning. The morning deal, that chicken burger was disgusting. It's been a long time, it's like nine o'clock right now. You got these, there's one in the bathroom and then one right here are these hatches. Um, so they're bringing in a lot of natural light. Oh. Okay. So overall trip, um, it was a lot longer drive than the first time. It was like two hours. Of course, we went to the Olympic game farm, fed the animals and whatnot. And that was super cool. So that was an hour and a half. And then it was another hour just to get to this yacht. I guess that's not the overall trip, but that's getting here. Let's do exterior or interior. I mean, honestly, I was super confused all around the <clears throat> the bottom of the boat, and then I poked it and it was like the um, spray foam. So insulation, they did that all the way around. Great insulator for the bottom of the boat. Um, as we know, just being close to the ground, I mean, it, it'll just suck the heat right out of anywhere, right? The interior, you have to just appreciate the craftsmanship from 1938. It's just amazing. Um, I don't know, I, I don't think the beds are from 1938, but they were definitely kind of stiff. Um, a lot of cool old features. It definitely, it smelt the part of being really old. Like I can't even explain it to you. Like a, like your grandma's basement, like it was just, it smelled so like mildewy, but it, I mean, it was clean, it was clean. Um, so no complaints really there. So for the overall trip, um, drum roll please. An eight out of 10, no complaints on the yacht really. I mean, it's a beautiful stay, the host is amazing. Mainly just, the, this is the overall trip, right? This is not really the yacht. I love the yacht for what it is, a 1938 yacht. It was wonderful. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and make sure to stay tuned for the next weird Airbnb. It's gonna be a great one. Click the link below and become a Patreon. Must be 18 years or older for behind the scene content.